In part 3 video of adding list columns, let's take a look into an advanced column type, Manage Metadata, also referred as Taxonomy column. Manage Metadata was introduced in SharePoint 2010 and it is useful in adding hierarchical metadata to list items or documents. The hierarchical metadata is stored into a special collection called Tumset. SharePoint gives site owners an ability to create one or more term sets within a term store. Using Manage Metadata in SharePoint gives you benefits like you can centrally manage metadata hierarchy either globally at farm level or locally at site collection level. Farm level term sets are available to all the SharePoint websites in the farm and their site collections under each of them, while site collection level term sets are available to only to the site collection under which the term sets are created. It also replaces traditional use of folders to contain items in hierarchical manner and it's also effective in large metadata hierarchy management than folders. SharePoint built-in search also understands manage metadata natively and uh, you can also define additional synonyms for each term in your term sets so that you can define your terms in more than one way. You can also achieve reusability of terms using term reuse and term pinning features of meta manage metadata. Let's see how that works. Let's add one manage metadata column to this library called document types. To add that, let's go to library and library settings and click create column and type document types here and select manage metadata. Once you select that, at the bottom of this page, you will see a new section called term set settings. And then this radio button gives you option to actually select one of the available term sets in farm. So if you want to look for a term set which is available at the farm level, you type the name and you search it and it's give you the name. So if I select this option, then I'm basically using the farm level term set called document types to add it to my library. But instead, if I want to create a site collection level term set, then you select this option. And when you select this option, it actually gives you an empty term set where you can add terms according to your requirements. So here I have a term set, term store management tool. And because I am selecting the local, so it only gives me the one option. If there are already created site collection level term sets, it will appear here. So I'm adding two terms, cover page and flyer. And once I'm done, I'll just go back to my site and document library. And now I have this site collection level manage metadata column, okay? Now, if I want to edit and add this uh, terms to these documents, I have a two cover pages and two flyers documents. So I will just simply go and click quick edit and then populate cover page. And then again, I'll, with flyer, cover page, actually, it's a flyer, and then cover page. Once I populate this, I will click stop button to make my changes, and now I have all the documents tagged with document types. Let's see how the term store management page looks like after adding a site collection level term set. So to access that, we go to this button, Site Actions, and then Site Settings. And under Site Administration, you have a Term Store Management link. You click that and you get to this page. And now you can see that all the farm level term sets are defined under this particular groups. But then at the bottom, I have a site collection, intranet.contoso.com is created here. And when I expand this group, I have my document types term set, which is site collection level term set. I have also added another metadata column to another calendar list here in the site 
call conference rooms and this metadata column points to a farm level term set if I expand this term set you can see four child terms here and these child terms are not available for tagging and that's because in the term set management tool I have selected this each term and made them not available for tagging using this checkbox so if I go back and then calendar and if I edit this event then if I expand and you can see that this these terms are not available for tagging only the the terms under those four categories are available for tagging okay now when the SharePoint's built-in search actually crowds the content next time and picks up these changes let's see what happens if I try to search within the site so if I go to home page and if I type kickoff because I know that there are certain records in my calendar which actually has this word and you can see right now I have a two records returned by my search SharePoint search here but here I have added conference room taxonomy section refinement section here and suddenly it actually shows me all the available terms that are actually coming from these two records okay that's it for this video remember each video contains a link to presentation slide which has extra reading material links in the notes section if you like this video then hit like button and subscribe to this channel if you have feedback or question give your comments for this video in the comment section thank you